Rod Stewart's music career began in 1962 when he took up busking with his harmonica. His early albums were a fusion of rock, folk music, soul music, and R&B. His third album, 1971's Every Picture Tells a Story, was his breakthrough and topped the charts in the UK, US, Canada, and Australia, and the song Maggie May helped to drive it. After a disco and new wave period in the late 1970s and early 1980s, Stewart's music turned to a soft rock style, with most of his albums reaching the top 10 in the UK, but faring less well in the US. He would eventually become a huge star in the US too, but before he charmed audiences with his British accent, he worked as a gravedigger at Highgate Cemetery in London during his teen years. According to the book Rod Stewart, The New Biography, he hoped working at the cemetery would rationalize his fear of dying because he had suffered from nightmares about death from a very early age. As a child, Gina Davis dreamed of being an actress. She eventually signed with a modeling agency, and she wound up as a model in the Victoria's Secrets catalog. And as it turns out, director Sidney Pollack must have been looking for new talent in that catalog when he spotted Gina and cast her in the film Tootsie. From then on, she was on a roll with movies like The Fly, Beetlejuice, and Earth Girls Are Easy. In the 1990s, she had another run with Thelma and Louise and A League of Their Own. But before her on-screen success, she worked at the clothing store Ann Taylor, where she posed as a mannequin in storefront windows, alongside the actual mannequins. Davis explained, Somebody saw me doing it, and then stopped to see what was going to happen next, but I just froze. I didn't know it, but I had an uncanny ability to be still. Her poses drew crowds left and right, which helped to bulk up her resume when she turned to real high fashion modeling. Danny DeVito's big break came in 1978 when he auditioned for a role on an ABC sitcom called Taxi, which centered around taxi cab drivers at a New York City garage. His character, Louis De Palma, became one of the most memorable characters in television history. Throughout the 1980s and 1990s, he continued acting with memorable roles in movies like Romancing the Stone, Ruthless People, Throw Mama from the Train, and Twins. His resume is long and he is still a sought after actor today, but before his acting career took off, he was a hairdresser in his sister's beauty parlor. He said he loved it because it came with the perk of being around beautiful girls. Later, he picked up a job at a local mortuary, styling the hair of dead women, but that got a little too creepy for him, so it didn't last too long. Christopher Walken is an interesting actor with a pale complexion and a somewhat nervous disposition. He first broke through into movies in 1969 with the film Me and My Brother, before appearing alongside Sean Connery in the sleeper heist movie The Anderson Tapes. His other movies include Annie Hall, The Deer Hunter, The Dead Zone, and Biloxi Blues. But long before he got his break on the silver screen, he was just another hard-working 16-year-old looking for a quick buck. Instead of working at a local restaurant or grocery store, he decided to join a traveling circus. He started out as a clown, but then became a lion tamer for a short time. He's pretty modest about his lion taming days, claiming Sheba the lion was very old and really more like a big dog. Megan Fox made her acting debut in the romantic comedy Holiday in the Sun, which was released direct to DVD. In the next several years, she guest starred on the sitcoms What I Like About You and Two and a Half Men. She made her feature film debut opposite Lindsay Lohan in the musical comedy Confessions of a Teenage Drama Queen and won the lead role in the 2007 Transformers film. She reprised her role in Transformers Revenge of the Fallen and then also landed the lead in Jennifer's Body. But the Hollywood vixen said the only real job she ever had was at a smoothie shop in Florida. She worked behind the register, but once a week she would have to suit up in a banana costume and go outside and stand by the highway to wave at passing cars in hopes that it would attract customers to the smoothie shop. John Hamm is best known for his role as Don Draper in the period drama TV series Mad Men. He also had guest starring roles in the sitcoms 30 Rock, Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt, Parks and Recreation, and Curb Your Enthusiasm. He received 16 Primetime Emmy Award nominations for acting in and producing Mad Men, and for some of his guest appearances. 
He has also had leading film roles in Stolen, Keeping Up with the Joneses, Bridesmaids, and Top Gun Maverick. But before all of his fame, he worked in the movie industry as a set dresser for adult movies. He stresses that these films were very mild considering their adult nature, and said it was an easy way to earn a few hundred dollars a day. He says, essentially, I had to move furniture around sweaty people dressed only in their birthday suits. It wasn't a great job. But the money was very helpful because I had to get by. I wanted to make it as an actor. Hugh Jackman is an Australian actor, singer, dancer, and producer. He has had roles in major films, notably as superhero, period, and romance characters. He is best known for his long-running role as Wolverine in the X-Men film series, as well as for his lead roles in the romantic comedy Kate and Leopold and the action horror film Van Helsing. He won a Tony Award for his role in The Boy From Oz. But before he was a leading man, he was a party clown, red nose and all. His natural comedic tendencies made him the perfect candidate for this job. And back then, he made $50 per show. I just love making a fool out of myself, he said. I made my living as a clown at kids' parties for about three years. I was Coco the Clown, and I had no magic tricks. And I remember a six-year-old standing up at a party saying, Mommy, this clown is terrible. He doesn't know any tricks. And he was right. Fortunately, Hugh Jackman has come a long way from those days. Steve Buscemi is best known for his roles in Reservoir Dogs, Con Air, Fargo, and The Big Lebowski and not to mention all the funny roles that he played in Adam Sandler movies. He has also had a prolific career in television. From 2010 to 2014, Buscemi starred in the critically acclaimed HBO series Boardwalk Empire. His other television roles include The Sopranos, 30 Rock, Portlandia, and Miracle Workers. But before he was one of the more notable names in Hollywood, he was a New York City firefighter. Assigned to Engine 55, he worked as a firefighter for four years before hanging his helmet up to begin his acting career career full-time. But despite his success, he hasn't forgotten his roots. In the wake of 9-11, he went back to Engine 55 to help assist with the cleanup and recovery of the Twin Towers. Even when he's not acting as a firefighter, he's still active in his support for the FDNY. Let me know in the comments if I missed anything, and maybe even consider supporting the channel over on Patreon. If you enjoyed this video, consider watching this playlist, and then visit the channel to search the Recollection Road Library. As always, thank you so much for watching.